Hey guys, it's Ryan back here again, and today we're doing Halo Reach Series 4 Blue Spartan Mark V Male. So anyways, this figure has just been recently released, along with rest of the rest of Series 4. The stores you can currently find it at are Toys R Us. It has not shown up yet at Walmart, Target, or GameStop or anything, but it will be in the next few weeks or so. Uh, so anyways, the retail price on him is ten ninety nine. So let's go over the packaging first. As you can see, it's in the same packaging design that they've been using for all the Reach figures so far. It's got the Battle of Reach background, a rendered picture of the blue Spartan Mark V, uh, 28 moving parts, Halo Reach logo. On the back here, we got the rest of the figures from Series 4. We have George, the Red Spartan EVA, which is exclusive to Target, the Steel Spartan ODST, which is exclusive to GameStop, the Rust Spartan CQC, which is exclusive to Toys R Us. The Blue Spartan Mark V, which I'm currently reviewing. The Rust Armor Pack, which is exclusive to Toys R Us. The UNSC Marine. The Brute Miner. The Grunt Major. The Elite General. And the Red Armor Pack, which is exclusive to Target. So anyways, let's go over the figure here. Um, the accessories that he comes with. He comes with a Assault Rifle. Nothing really new about this one, because it's the same one they've been using so far. He comes with one peg for the assault rifle. As you can see on the assault, ro the assault rifle itself, it's got a peg hole right there for it. It's got some nice uh, silver paint detailing, as well as some uh, metallic type painting over it to give it a wear and tear look. It's also got a yellow line going over the top, which adds more detail. And the last accessory that he includes is a grenade, which you can display on these two pegs back here on his hips. Um, but anyways, let's put that back on there, and that's all he has for accessory wise. So the new parts about this figure. The only thing that's really new is the head sculpt. The shoulder pads and the chest plate as well as the body is a complete repaint. Um, you know, well that's pretty much all the Spartans are. They're a repaint of the same exact figure over and over again with slightly different armor. Uh, but anyways, so you get a Mark V helmet, two Mark V uh, shoulder plates, as well as the basic uh, chest plate, which is nothing really special. Uh, the chest plate itself, though, does have a knife here, which looks pretty cool. It is not removable, though. You cannot take it out of its uh, little holder right here. Uh, but anyways, the shoulder pads, chest plate, and helmet are all removable, so you can interchange it with different figures. The helmet sculpt is pretty awesome, so it's got a gold visor there. And it's also got some white and red detailing on the sides, as well as the back a little bit, but... You know, that's pretty much it to this helmet. There's nothing really too special about it, but it is an entirely new sculpt, which looks pretty cool. Um, so I would recommend you pick up this figure, though, because it's the only figure in Series 4 that has this helmet. Um, so if you really want this one, pick up this figure. So anyways, uh, the paint detailing, this is the blue team, obviously. It's also got metallic painting all over it to give it a really wear and tear look, especially on the thighs here, which look pretty cool. Uh, it's got blue detailing, it's got the caution logos down here on his toes. Uh, there's a UNSC logo right on the back here, as well as those red triangle thingies. Um, what else? White detailing. I believe there is a UNSC logo, yep, right on his chest plate. And yeah, there is peg holes also throughout the body. There's two peg holes on his thighs for weapon display. Uh, there's peg holes on his forearms, which are for extra armor. There's a peg hole on his cod piece, which is for extra armor as well. And there's also a peg hole on the back of his uh, torso here for weapon display. And of course, like I mentioned earlier, there's these two pegs for grenade, split, grenade display. And yeah, so that's pretty much it for this figure. Articulation for him, he has a ball jointed head, ball hinge shoulders, ball hinge elbows, ball hinge wrists, civil waist, well actually a ball hinge waist, um, civil hips, with, along with a ball jointed hip, um, so it's like swivel and then you can also move it back and forth if you want to, uh, ball hinged knees, ball hinged ankles, as well as ball jointed toes. So anyways, that's pretty much it for this figure. You know, it's the same basic Spartan that we've seen so far, except with some different armor as well as a uh, different paint job. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and give this figure, I'd say, a 5 out of 5. I really like the Mark V helmet. They did a nice job sculpting on it. It has some nice details and nice paint apps. You also get these two uh, Mark V shoulder pads, which look pretty cool. And then you get an assault rifle and a grenade, of course. And the overall, the paint job on this entire figure is just awesome. I really love how they're doing the really nice wear and tear look to all the Spartan figures in this line. 
Uh, so anyways, I would recommend you pick up this figure because once again it's the only one in Series 4 that has a Mark V helmet. Uh, so anyways, that's pretty much it for this review. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next video.